And so it raises the question of things like, will you have more or less war crimes? So on one hand, robots are emotionless. So they don't get angry when their buddy is killed. They don't commit crimes of rage or revenge, which is how a lot of war crimes happen. But robots are emotionless. To a robot, a 80-year-old grandmother in her wheelchair is just the same as a T-80 tank. They're both just a series of zeros and ones. And so what we have to figure out is how do we catch up our 20th century laws of war that are so old right now that they qualify for Medicare with 21st century technologies. And that's one of the fascinating things that came out of the meetings I did at places like the International Red Cross or Human Rights Watch, where they're equally flustered on what to do with these systems. And in fact, there's a scene in the book um, at Human Rights Watch where two of the um, people there actually get in an argument uh, on what should apply or what shouldn't, and they start referencing not the Geneva Conventions, but whether the Star Trek Prime Directive applies. Um, it's kind of funny, but it also points to how much of at a loss we are with where to take all this.